Well, this is stated obvious, but um, good and evil are value judgments. Uh, and if you want to find a value judgment, you won't find it out there, out in the universe or whatever. That's precisely the, uh, I guess, the sort of thing that the somewhat, perhaps pronouncedly, individualistic philosophy um, was promoting. It was the idea that value is not to be found out there. Which is why I'm always confused by the question, um, or by the supposition that the universe has no value, so please... If you want to say that there is value, then it's your case to prove. Well, value doesn't work like that. It's not something that um, is independently verifiable. Um, and I think that we run into all kinds of trouble if we assume that it is. The answer, or the, the question, show me where the value is, or show me the value of anything, contains in itself, or the the demand, or, you know, show me the value for, of anything, or of the universe, or of the world, or of life, that demand contains in itself its own solution. Um, value is not showable. And just because something isn't showable doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, because, again, we're not looking out there for anything. Um, and, of course, that leads us to the, you know, the Nazi thing. Well, then I can decide that um, white people are the master race. Well, <laughs> yes, you can. Um, but, again, haven't we already established that value isn't out there? So, just because you believe that white people are the master race, um, it does not automatically follow that you go out and do something about that. Because the value of what you believe is only to be found here. Um, I don't really think that it truly runs that risk. Um, if you see that kind of uh, philosophy or that kind of position for what it is. You can't forget the fact that we went looking for value internally because it was not to be found externally and then impose that value on the external, because there is no external value. Um, it's also a pretty good argument, if you ask me, for the uh, very common belief that before you start philosophizing, you have to have a strong foundation of self-discipline. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that I'm the most self-disciplined person on earth, but there's very few philosophies that I follow that actually have any strong application in the real world. It's that, that to me, that's not what philosophy is. Um, knowledge is knowledge. So yes, um, Nietzsche's idea of value of beyond good and evil could indeed lead to all kinds of crazy ideas. But the very fact that his view of the nature of value is that it's only to be found internally um, cuts across any idea of his ideas being used for any, I don't know, uh, evil purposes, if I dare use that word, or perhaps undesirable purposes like, oh, um, the Third Reich. <laughs>